Important news, important news from the devs themselves. The latest patch notes for this latest Splitgate update. It is not coming out of beta, but I'm excited. And I'll be going over everything it says there and uh, give my opinions on some of those things as well. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you do like this content because I make it all the time. So do that if you want. But without further ado, let's get straight into the patch notes. So everything it says in the patch notes includes new maps, new game modes, the battle pass, more gameplay updates, challenges, UI, and just some miscellaneous stuff. Let's start from the top and go and make our way down. So let's start off with the new maps. One of them will be Crag, and if you don't know already, it was one of the challenge maps that we actually, for the weekly challenges that we couldn't complete. But now, if we do get another weekly challenge with Crag included in it, we will be able to finish that. Another one would be Foregone Destruction. I am all up for new maps. I really like, you know, uh, games adding upon what you can actually play on so i'm really excited to see these i think i saw a little bit of crag before um but i am really really hoping that we can just you know start playing these as quickly as possible and see if they are actually good maps or not okay let's move on to a new game mode vip takedown it says it is a new casual game model takedown variant where respawns stop when your vip dies this will uh, introduce a new game mechanic and uh, actually I'll play this uh, maybe even my first thing when this update comes out or if the update has already came out and you're just watching this uh, play it and see if it's good because I'm, I'm anticipating that that'll be pretty nice so it really focus on the objective of the, the whole game and maybe your teammates will uh, really, really get you know into actually playing the objective a little bit more so I'm, I can't wait for that Okay, and now they also said that they, they are extending the beta battle pass and they have added five new tiers to the limited time beta pass and of course, of course, it is all going to be free. So I think, uh, what did they have? Like five or ten? I think they had ten tiers. So now it will be uh, fifteen. Uh, if I'm if I'm thinking of this correctly, if I'm not, feel free to correct me. But I think that is a total of 15 the tiers of the battle pass, so that we can all grind through those and get ready for the actual launch. Moving on to a big section here, gameplay. They are going to be adding the console FOV slider, something that a lot of people have been asking for as of recently, and. Um, Personally, um, I've heard some people saying they're going to crank that thing up all the way to max, and I cannot wait to see <laughs> to see their uh, their plays with all of that and see actually how how far the slider goes. Uh, moving on down, it says console KB and M support. This would be keyboard and mouse, so you can now hook those up to your console, and it should work perfectly fine. Hopefully, though, um, a known issue, it says that uh, the mouse cursor sometimes does not appear. So hopefully they can fix that uh, sometime after the launch of this update, but there you go. Uh, moving on down, it says uh, it fixes various portal bugs that cause people to get stuck in walls. I've seen quite a bit of clips like this, and people could like shoot through these walls, but people couldn't shoot them, and it caused a lot of problems for the community. But Hopefully most of that is fixed now. And it also says replays in kill cam now work on PlayStation. So me being a PlayStation player, I'm super excited to really get those kill cams back because sometimes uh, it would work if you turned it on settings, sometimes it wouldn't. It was a real mess, but hopefully um, now I can get some sort of consistency with uh, those kill cams and replays. It also says aim assist no longer pulls through portals you can't see through and cross platform voice chat now works in game as well in the pre slash post game lobby. So now if you're on PS4 and somebody else is on Xbox or PC or vice versa or any type of combination you guys can still communicate cross platform with that voice chat. 
okay new challenges they said they're going to be adding a quote unquote complete all weekly challenges in quote challenge with a drop reward so you guys can open that drop up once you do complete all those weekly challenges and probably hopefully get something nice for yourselves come on okay next up we have some ui slash quality of life updates first thing on the list i absolutely love custom controller bindings because i know that as soon as i go into that game i'm going straight to settings straight to controller uh layout and i'm just i'm messing with all of that because i know that i could be way better within the game if i did change some of that so i am all up for that and i will be doing that so i'm really excited for that next thing up we have new controller button presets such as bumper jumper and tactical just your classic uh button presets we also have cross platform leaderboard toggle so now we can see purely just your platform or all platforms so we have a platform thing versus an everybody thing easy enough next thing we have custom server browser sorting so that will be used for custom servers interesting uh next we have fixing issues on playstation where player names would take up to five minutes to load in i personally like in game actual experience have seen this happen it will be like you know quote unquote mid match and you know some people kill me and i just don't i don't know who it is other than like uh, the little avatar next to their name like i i really don't understand uh i can't really you know match guns and play styles with those names because they don't have names so that will be uh nice to implement and they have so that is awesome uh next up we have item shop controller navigation improvements always love that um i haven't really had too much of an issue with that but the better the better i guess so that is cool uh next we have safe zone improvements on playstation a lot of playstation specific things here because you know this console is uh <laughs> interesting uh but there you go we also have a new brass rank so added a rank below bronze called brass so they are just really really <laughs> uh giving it to the new players here and <laughs> uh making making a, a nice rank for them uh so they can uh, start start playing these ranked matches okay and rank divisions so each rank has been split into two divisions gold one gold two would be an example so that is what it is now the last grouping of updates here would be miscellaneous so they have improvements to their anti-cheats so you know anti-cheat improvements always always nice so that is awesome to see various crash fixes uh i have had this game crash on me a couple times so hopefully they know that i'll lay off a little bit hopefully i can play the game for longer and enjoy the experience okay um they have fixed hitch when opening a drop on base consoles and they also have other minor bug fixes and improvements obviously so that is the whole list of patch notes a very very nice list may i add uh i'm i'm really excited to play this as soon as it comes out and if it already is out then now you know all of the things that were changed and hopefully if you did like this video don't forget to like and subscribe because i make videos like this all the time on splitgate news and other stuff about splitgate but that will be the end of today's video i hope you did enjoy and again if you did make sure to like subscribe and comment what changes did you like what changes did you not like or are there things that you you know want to be in the game but they haven't added yet go ahead comment that below but that is the end of the video again I'll Thank you.